Okay, the next thing we're going to look at then is factors, lowest common multiple, and the highest common factor. So factors then, a factor is a number which divides into another number, leaving no remainders. So we're going to look at then the factors of 16. Now there are a number of ways we can do this. The first one is a factors ladder. So the first factors that go into 16 are the numbers 1 and 16. We know then that the number 2 also goes into 16. So 2 times 8 is 16. So 2 and 8 are a factor of 16. And I know then that 4 also goes into 16. So I've got 4 times 4 is 16. So the factors of 16 then are 1, 16, 2, 8 and 4. Okay, That is a factors ladder. You can also do it as a factors spider or a factors alien. All I do here is I draw a circle, put the number 16 in the middle of it so I know what my number is that I'm trying to find the factors of. And then going around the outside, I'm going to write the factors of each. Now I only need to write the 4 once because I know then that 4 times 4 is 16. So again I've got the factors again of 16. The other way we can do it is we can do it as one long line of numbers. So I can do 1, 16, I can do 2, 8 and I can do 4. Again I only need to write 4 once because it's 4 times 4. So I can do it as one long line. As you can see here, the problems with doing it as one long line are sometimes you can end up with big spaces if there are not as fa many factors as you anticipated or conversely, if you don't give yourself enough space, we end up squeezing it all in the middle and it become untidy or we could miss a number. But that then are our factors of 16. Multiples, if it says list the first five multiples of a number, first five multiples of eight, then that is just your eight times table. Okay, so once times eight is eight, then I've got 16, 24, 32, and 40. And those then are my first five multiples of eight. Next thing we're going to look at then is the lowest common multiple of 5 and 7. Now we just listed the multiples of the first five multiples of 8. So to do this we're going to list the multiples of 5 and we're going to list the multiples of 7. And we keep going until we find the same number in each list. So starting with my 5's first then, I've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Now I'm going to list then the multiples of 7. So I have 7, 14, 21, 28, 35 and 42. I can now see that from my two lists I've got a common multiple in each. So the lowest common multiple then of 5 and 7 is the number 35. And sometimes we get three numbers, so 5, 7 and maybe 9. We just list the mul multiples of all three and we keep going until we find a common number in each list. Highest common factor of 12 and 18. Now to do this, we just do exactly the same as before with either a ladder, a spider or a list of numbers. So I'm going to use the spider. I've got 1 and 12. I've got 2 and 6. And I've got 3 and 4. 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4, all equal 12. Exactly the same over here then. I've got 18. I've got 1, 18, I've got 2, I've got 9, and I've got 3, and I've got 6. Now I've got to look for the highest number 
in both of my spiders. And I've got a six here, and I've got a six here. So the highest common factor then of 12 and 18 is six. Again, if I was given three numbers, all I'd do is a third spider and find the common factor between all three. Next we're going to look at then trying to find the lowest common multiple and the highest common factor of 28 and 42. And to do this we're going to use something called prime factors. Okay? We're going to make a prime factor tree, sometimes it's called prime factor decomposition. Okay? So we take our number 28 and we're going to divide it by 2. Now half of 28 is 14. Now whenever I find a prime number, I'm going to circle that prime number. So all now I'm going to use is the 14. I can divide this again by 2, and I get 7. Again, 2 and 7 are both prime numbers. And I can write this as 2 times 2 times by 7, or 2 to the power 2 times by 7. Next one then, 42. Again, I'm going to divide this by 2. Which gives me 21. Again, I've got a prime factor here. I can circle that. 2 doesn't go into 21, but 3 does. So now I've got 3 and I've got 7. Both prime numbers, both get a circle. So the answer to this one then is 2 times 3 times by 7. Now I can take those numbers and put them into what is a Venn diagram. So I had 2 to the power 2 times by 7 for 28 and I had 2 times by 3 times by 7 for 42. So what I do now then is I cross off where I've got common numbers. So if I write this out in full, I've got 2 times 2 times by 7. I've got a 2 here and I've got a 2 there. So I'm going to put a 2 in the middle. I've got a 2 here, but I haven't got a 2 there, so I can't put that anywhere. I've got a 7 here, and I've got a 7 there, so I can put the 7 in the middle. The numbers that are left then just go in the circles that belong to each number. So this side is 28, so the 2 goes in there. This side is 42, so that 3 goes in there. Where these two circles overlap, this part here then, when multiplied together, is the highest common factor. So the highest common factor equals 2 times 7, which equals 14. The lowest common multiple equals all of those numbers multiplied together. So I've got 2 times 2 is 4, times by 3 is 12, and I've got 7 times by 12. So 7 times by 12, or 10 times 7 is 70, 2 times 7 is 14, so 70 and 14 gives me 84. So the lowest common multiple of 28 and 42 is 84. The last thing we're going to look at is sort of a new technique that's uh, just coming out, which is lowest, finding the lowest common multiple and the highest common factor of 24 and 36 using something called repeated division. So I write my two numbers out, 24 and 36. I'm going to divide each number by 2. So I'm going to divide by 2. So 24 divided by 2 is 12, 36 divided by 2 is 18. 
I can divide both these numbers again by 2. So I'm going to divide by 2. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. 18 divided by 2 is 9. I can't divide them by 2 because 9 is not divisible by 2 evenly. So now I'm going to divide it by 3. So I'm dividing it by 3. So now 6 divided by 3 is 2. 3 divided by 3 is 3. So now I've got prime numbers all the way around the outside. So this is effectively the end of my sum. I can now use these numbers to find the highest common factors and the lowest common multiples as before. So these three numbers here then are the highest common factor. So I've got 2 times by 2 is 4 times by 3 is 12. So the highest common factor of 24 and 36 is 12. These three numbers and these two numbers all multiplied together give me the lowest common multiple. So I've got 2 times 2 times by 3 times by 2 times by 3 which gives me 72. So that is another way of working out the lowest common multiple and the highest common factor using repeated division. It's a new technique, does require a little bit of practice, but it works and it's quite quick.